welcome back to my channel uh, if you're new here welcome uh, today I'm gonna be doing a sausage and maple biscuit breakfast bake um, I got this off of drizzle me skinny I'm gonna make a few substitutions from it because I have different ingredients um, but yeah let's get started okay so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to spray our pan and get our biscuits put in I don't know about y'all, but I hate doing the biscuit can pop. There we go. And I'm gonna um, knob these into little pieces. sausage and our bacon. I'm using turkey sausage and turkey bacon and you're supposed to sprinkle this in. I kind of randomly mixed mine up so you get a little bite each. And you're using six links and six pieces of bacon. Then we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna mix up the rest of the ingredients. So we got six eggs, this one broke, so I had to stand it up. Add in our milk. Then we're going to add in a half a cup. I'm using the stevia syrup, maple flavored. Um, you can use maple syrup, sugar free maple syrup, whatever you like. salt, a little bit of pepper, mix it up, make sure you got it all incorporated well. bring our casserole dish back over and we're going to pour it into our casserole dish on top of the biscuits and the meat. <clears throat> now we're just going to kind of shake it around, make sure it's in there. And this bakes at 350 degrees 
and you want to bake it for, so you wanna bake it for 15 to 20 minutes covered with foil at 350 degrees, and then you wanna let it set and cool for five minutes, and it's six servings. And I'll show you the finished product when it's done. Okay, and I've taken out the breakfast casserole, and that's what it looks like. Looks like it's gonna be really good. You can smell the maple in there. Can't wait to try this. I'll let you guys know in another video if it was good or not. Okay, while we are waiting for our casserole to go in, I'm a little farther away and do apologize, but having the oven on for the casserole to go in, I need to make sure that I have anything that can be heated further back. So that's why we are the way we are right now. And I have four potatoes that I'm going to poke holes in um, and put in uh, aluminum foil. I'm going to be making twice baked potatoes. So you just need to make sure that you are poking holes so that they can steam. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stack them like this, like a crisscross in there, and I'll put them in at 400 for 30 minutes. And while that is going on, I'll get the other ingredients ready. Okay, so for the um, twice baked potatoes, I'm actually going to be using some leftover of the um, roasted vegetables that I did last night. Um, it does call in the recipe for cauliflower and broccoli, but I had roasted extra so I would have to do less work today. So those are all ready to go. And then, let's see, all I need to do is get the shredded cheddar out and a little bit of milk to mix in with the potato parts. So I'll be back when that is ready. Okay, so now we got the potatoes out. Now we get, have to finish up the twice baked potatoes. So I'm going to grab a spoon. I tend to like to use one like this. It's got little edges on it to kind of help out. And I'm going to take an oven mitt. Cut down through the middle. And I'm going to kind of take a little divvy out in the middle here. And then we're going to take our spoon and we're going to scoop it out into our bowl. This one kind of fell apart a little bit, but you can see I left a little bit of an edge here. And we're just going to set that on there. And then we're going to add in our ve the vegetables. I'm going to add just a little tiny splash of milk. 
a little bit of some country crock. I'm just going to mix it all together. It's going to look like this and then we're just going to fill the shells and put them in the oven. You're going to take just a little bit of cheese and just put it over the top. And that's all good to go. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is get our chicken ready. I'm just going to take the fat off of this chicken. Just going to salt and pepper it and put it into our little air fryer. I am going to spray just a little bit of olive oil spray in the bottom. And then I'm going to put it in uh, with the salt and pepper side down. is going to go in the air fryer at 400 for about 20 minutes and then I'll be putting these um, twice baked potatoes in the oven okay and we are back our chicken is done Shut off our oven and grab out the potatoes. And there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. I hope you guys subscribe. When I get to 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing an Amazon gift card giveaway. And I hope you have a great night.